Hi guys, it's me, Janique618. I just wanted to make a little video since today is 9-11. September 11, 2015. I wanted to make a quick little video. Maybe not quick, but anyways, um, I want to tell my story because a lot of people may not know. Um, even though I wasn't part of the 9-11 attack, I was a part of the very first attack on the World Trade Center in 1993. So before 9-11, there was a smaller and less violent attack um, of, of the World Trade Center on February 23rd. 1993 and I figure I'll tell my story since it is part of the whole World Trade Center events and stories um because 9-11 will always be a part of my life and a part of my heart because I was there in 1993 and I almost died in 1993 um so I'm just gonna tell my story about the first World Trade Center attack that I was a part of. So basically, I I attended public school 191 in Floral Park, and I was in second grade. And um, I don't remember what day of the week it was. I don't know if it was a Friday or what day of the week it was, but it was February 26, 1993, and. Um, my class and I think maybe like one other class, like my class and the other second grade class, um, we went on a field trip to the World Trade Center and we went, you know, we didn't spend that much time there before the bombing actually happened because the bombing happened at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. But we did get to see some of the building inside. We got some um, souvenirs. We got to look through the the sky, uh, the binoculars, like the viewer, the sky, the viewer they had. They used to have these big, tall, uh, like uh, binocular type of things that you could look through, and you could see all of New York through those binoculars. Um. On, on the floors of the World Trade Center. So being that it was February, it was freezing cold, winter, really cold. So when the bomb exploded at 1218 in the second World Trade Center building, which is the one that we were in, um, we had to, well, basically, if you don't know, there was a bomb that exploded in the parking garage of the World Trade Center. I'm looking at my iPad to help me remember. And it was a, uh, actually it was a truck. It was a, a truck that um, carried a bomb and it went into the garage of the World Trade Center and it exploded. And they were trying to kill people, obviously. Um, thankfully, only, I believe, six, well, I shouldn't say thankfully, but only six people were killed during that attack, but over a thousand people, 1,000 people, over 1,000 people were injured, and, um, I'm trying to look at the facts here, there was something else, Oh yes, yeah, so it was a one one thousand two hundred pound bomb was in a truck parked in a parking garage beneath the World Trade Center. Oh, and right here, it's a uh, estimated fifty thousand people were evacuated, including myself. So, including fifty thousand people, fifty thousand people plus me and my class, all evacuated the World Trade Center, but. Before we were evacuated, we had to go through a lot 
first of all, when the bomb hit the building, or when the bomb exploded underneath the building, my class and everybody that was on that floor had to walk up hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of flights of stairs from whatever I don't know what floor we were on, I don't remember, but on the floor that we were on, we had to walk up so many stairs because the elevator, of course, wasn't working. Some people were actually stuck in the elevator. I think one of the classes from another school was actually trapped in the elevator. But us, we had to walk up hundreds of stairs all the way to the rooftop. The rooftop. Imagine being in second or third grade. I believe I, believe I was in second grade. Imagine walking up as seven or eight years old, walking up hundreds of flights of stairs to get to the rooftop of the World Trade Center. Imagine and remember what the World Trade Center looked like before it was demolished, destroyed in 2001. So we are on the rooftop of, we're on the rooftop of um, Lord of the Towers and it's winter, the middle of the winter. February is probably the coldest month for winter. Freezing cold. We had to stand on the rooftop of the building until it was clear by the firefighters to come down and leave the building because we couldn't go we couldn't go down because that's where the bomb was and that's where all the smoke was. So to be clear from the smoke and the fire and everything, we had to walk all the way up to the roof of the building, the rooftop outside. So after walking all those stairs, we then had to stand on top of the roof in the freezing cold and just wait. I'm sorry, this is really sad. We had to wait until the, cl the smoke cleared and everything cleared before we could even go down and leave and go back to school. And this is so scary because I mean, 9-11 was the worst. 9-11 was like the worst thing that could happen. But it's just still so scary to... And I, like, I could kind of... Kind of imagine what they went through. Except for the fact that I wasn't like... Directly injured or anything like that. But just to be in that building. And you can't go anywhere. And you have to wait until it's safe to leave. It was so scary. I was only seven or eight, but just to think about it now, at 30 years old, I'm 30 years old now, and to think how those people at 9-11 felt when they're stuck between fire and smoke and, and, and debris from the plane in the building, and they can't get out, and they have to lay there, and they have to die there. It's just like... My heart goes out to everybody from 9-11, all the families, the firefighters, the police, because I, I only know a little bit of the feeling that they felt because my, my, the day that I was there, of course, wasn't as bad as 9-11, but I still feel just as sad because I was there one time. And I was there, and I had to go through a traumatic experience. And then now, the, the, the World Trade Center is gone completely, well, the way that it used to be. And no one, and, and if, if, you, if you've never been into the World Trade Center, you'll never understand how scary that would be to be in that huge skyscraper of a building, being trapped or stuck or having to stay in a certain area until it was safe to go down like at 9-11 you know those people had to like try to make it down themselves or they had to wait for a firefighter to come to help them get down if they were stuck behind something or behind a door that maybe was full of fire or something like that so for me at 7 or 8 
to be at the rooftop at the rooftop of not at the rooftop of the, the, the tower the rooftop of the twin tower in the cold winter freezing while my mother is at work and my father is at home and they're wondering where I am and then if I'm gonna make it home safe and to come back to school and to see my mom waiting for me to come pick me up it's just like oh my god like I couldn't imagine if I didn't make it back my mother would not I wouldn't be here my son wouldn't be here my mom was so scared that day because it was her baby at the World Trade Center where there was a bombing and she doesn't know what's going on and then when we got back to school after we finally were able to go back downstairs and leave the World Trade Center and get back on our school bus and go back to PS191 in Queens when we got back to the school, it was amazing because they had banners up. They had everything up saying, welcome back, welcome home, you're true heroes. We even got a letter from the president. Every one of us in our class got a letter from the president telling us how proud he was of us, that we were heroes, you know, and, 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 and. And the president at the time, I believe, was Bill Clinton. Yeah, I think at the time, the president was Bill Clinton, I believe. I'm not really sure. You could Google that <laughs> to see who the president was in 1993. But I believe it was Bill Clinton, but I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, we got a letter from him telling us how proud he was of us. Like, and how we were heroes. But the, th the most amazing part was coming back to school and seeing everybody everybody was downstairs on the first floor of the school our parents family teachers kids all waiting for us to come back they had banners and balloons and everything just saying thank you for thank thank god you came back like your heroes welcome back because that was scary it was only two of our classes that went to all the way to Manhattan. So you're talking about taking the bus to Manhattan, go on to the tra trade center, and then try to get back. Like I was so happy to see my mom. Um, I was only I was only in one newspaper, but it was a a a, a community news. It wasn't like a a big newspaper like uh, Daily News. It was a, a neighborhood newspaper with a picture of of my class. So I don't have any like pictures to show you of me there or anything that happened, but I just wanted to share my story since today is 9-11 and it does affect me in a way because I was part of the first attack. So I know I I, I, I remember how scared how scared I was at seven years old being scared at that moment. So I kind of have a tiny bit of an idea of how the people from 9-11 felt when they had to go through that, which was a hundred times worse because this one was a bomb in the garage. 9-11 were two planes crashing through the World Trade Center and killing hundreds, thousands of people. So... Yeah, I just wanted to share my story because it's 9-11 today, so that's my story. I was part of the World Trade Center attack in 1993, and yeah, I'm here to tell my story. I'm alive, thank God, and yeah, so my heart goes out to all the families today, and I hope you guys just take the day to remember your family and all the firefighters, and you know, just stay strong. Keep praying. God will get you through. He will be with you as you mourn. After 14 years later, he'll be with you as you mourn. And yeah, I just hope you guys have a, a blessed day and a blessed weekend. I love all you guys. Stay strong. Stay healthy. And just, yeah, I love you guys. And just thank you for watching. <laughs> Bye, guys.